Today's lesson, how to not ruin everything. Let me show you. Check out this folder on my desktop. It is the most amazing folder ever, as you can tell, because it says so. What happens when I open this folder? Oh, look, it's the most amazing track ever. Someone, maybe someone famous, sent me this track to work on for their project. So what do I do? I have an empty Studio One file, and I drag the track in, and maybe I start working on this song, okay? So I hit save, we're good to go, and maybe I add in a bunch of, you know, you know, 10 tracks of my own stuff, me, 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 and I've recorded a bunch of stuff, and it's amazing. I'm collaborating with my, fa you know, a famous artist. Okay, th that's the scenario. Now, let's say we close this down, and maybe we forget about it for a couple of weeks. We forget that we're working with a famous artist for a couple of weeks, and we're not in Studio One. We're just looking at our desktop, and we're like, the most amazing folder ever. What is that? I can't remember. Um, I'll probably just delete it, or probably more likely, if you're anything like sometimes my desktop gets out of hand and maybe there's a whole bunch of folders over here and you think, you know what, it's time to clean things up. I don't think I need any of these. If it's on the desktop, it's probably not that important. Let me just delete them all. And I just sent them to the trash. And then I also come down to the trash and I say, you know what, I'm going to empty the trash. Clean up the hard drive. Nice. Wonderful. Then let's say the next day I come in and say, you know what, let me look at that song I was working on with that famous, world famous artist. Open this up. What? What? It says one file is missing. What file? What file? Uh, desktop. Most amazing folder ever. The most amazing. Oh, no. And then pit in your stomach. You feel like you're going to puke. Why? Because you deleted the most amazing track ever. I deleted the most amazing track ever. It's not here anymore. It's not. And you think, well, let me go. Oh, no, it's not there. If you're lucky, it's still in the folder, uh, the trash can. Uh, but sadly, it is not. It is gone. What about inside the folder for this song? Oh, that's not there either. There's no audio. And if there is any audio, it's stuff that I recorded. That original file that I dragged in is gone forever. Are you adequately stressed out about that? I thought so. Let's go grab, let's go grab a wave file. Let's put it, let's go back to our desktop. Let's create a new folder. Um, hang on folder and let's put that file in here okay here's that file again we'll call this second best song ever all right we've got our we've got our folder on the desktop here it is we open it up we want to bring that in but we're worried like how can we trust that we won't delete it what do we do you may have some ideas in your head i've got a very easy solution that will solve all of your problems open up studio one come to preferences you can use the shortcut command comma to get there quickly that's control comma, I believe, on the PC. And you're going to take these tabs at the top, find the one that says locations, and then you're going to go to, uh, yeah, locations, go to the first tab, user data. This is where you, f you set your default folder, where all your stuff gets saved by default. You can change this on a per song basis. But under save options, there's this setting right here. Ask to copy external files when saving document. If this is not checked, you check it right now, and you never uncheck it ever again. I hit apply, I hit OK. What does that do? Well, let's experiment. If I take that file again, I drag it into my new song, the next time I press save, this thing pops up and says, hey, you want to copy these external files to the media folder? Meaning the media folder inside of the song folder for this song inside Studio One's kind of ecosystem. So it's going to copy it from this folder here. And I say, heck yeah, I do. Wonderful. Close that song. Let's do the same thing again. Let's come over here. Let's put this in the trash. It's now gone. Let's open up this file and see what happens. It says, oh, no, that, that, that file is missing. That's the first one that we lost, remember? And we say, oh, this one's missing, but guess what? This one's still here. Why is it still here? Because it got copied into Studio One's ecosystem. Let me navigate to that for you real quickly. Uh, if I open up Finder and I go to, I'm in Documents, Personas, no. Wrong document folder. If I'm in Documents, Studio One, Songs, this song is called Asketh and Ye Shall Receive. And if I look in the media folder, bam, second song ever has been copied over. It will always be in this folder now. So I can take this and put it on another hard drive, on another computer, any of those things, and I'm good to go. I can now delete the original because it has been copied over. Now you may ask the question, why would I ever not want to have that this box selected? 
I'm not sure. I can think of options, but I would always select this. If you're using a lot of samples and you're bringing them into different songs all the time and you'd rather it reference one folder, one copy versus making copies of that sample every time, I could see that being... But I would even, I, I don't care if I lose some hard drive space for the sake of never losing the file itself. So if there's multiple copies of the file all over the place and all sorts of different songs, I'm good with it because I never want to have that situation happen to me where I've lost the file forever and I literally can't get it back. All right, hope that scared you into checking this box and using it forever. Trust me, it will save you. Thanks for watching. See ya.